Well, I'm out with Captain Jack again today, along with my pal Jeff. We're going to the back country on the windy day to look for a species that you might recognise by the description. Big curved dorsal fin cuts through the waves as it attacks. Lots and lots of teeth. And if you live in the wrong part of the United States, they've even been known to eat people. The ones we catch today are only going to eat bait. Time to rock and roll with Captain Jack. We've just about reached the spot. I'm just looking for the instructions for Captain Jack to launch the anchor. We're fishing from a flat into a deeper channel. And we're gonna put out some chum and the mystery fish will swim up the deeper channel towards our bait and then we'll try and catch them. I'm flying a pair of bonita for bait. And being just partially frozen, it's a little difficult. One gone, isn't it? That's it. It was food inside for me, and suddenly it became food inside for the fish. I've got a whole roll in my mouth at the moment, you'll have to forgive me. Maybe not a whole one, because some of it's on my chops. I saw two fish come in, and you can't cast near them because they'll just ignore it. So you have to take a swing and hope that they'll go towards your bait. And then the cloud went behind, the, uh, the cloud covered the sun, we couldn't see. I had the bail arm open dropping the line back and suddenly it roared off and I couldn't get the damn bail arm closed. It was going so quickly. A little pretty, pretty little lemon shark. Put it in the boat. Yeah, right. Long. <laughs> it's like wrestling lions. Good attempt. <laughs> there we go. That's got to be a black tip. The speed of that one, look. <laughs> Not jumped yet. Change direction so quickly. That's a little black tip, Jack. It's a black tip. Oh, look at that. Quick and big. Saw him as soon as he was hooked. Going too fast to be a lemon. <laughs> now, this fish is no bigger than a small tote would be in England. Probably 25 pounds, maybe. And people tell me tote fight, but I've caught tote for 43 pounds, and I'll tell you what, they don't fight like this. <laughs> very aggressive little sharks as well. There he is, very pretty. Very pretty. Look at that. 
Look at the colours. Very, very pretty sharks. As you can see, with a full set of dentures. Captain Jack to perform the unhooking ritual. Great thing is about these sharks, we've caught a couple today already that have had other hook marks, even another hook in them. But the hooks rust out so quickly. In two or three days in this saline conditions, they've got absolutely rusting through. And within, I guess, two weeks, they're gone completely. And we've caught several sharks with hook holes in them over the period of our trips here. And every single one of them has been as fit as a flea. So it definitely doesn't affect them. Try a yellow balloon this time. Yeah, yeah. There are at least six sharks in the zone now. It's fighting these fish has just really got them hot. You can see the clouds of sand everywhere where the fish are fighting and feeding. It is incredible. This is shark madness. Baby bull shark. Just bop the balloon onto the reel. He's just on the edge of the mouth there. Captain's got another hook in him too. No. Nope. Uh, Nylon leader. A little bull shark. Mr. Nasty of the ocean. Yeah, he is a nasty one too. Not maybe that little, but. And trust me, they will bite you. <laughs> oh, would I lie? Would I ever lie to anybody? This is my favorite spot <laughs> at the moment. You know, because you can see the sharks coming in and just throw it to them. That's the best part. Well, this is Key West, so I suppose we should really try a pink balloon. It's the color of the Florida Keys. Oh, you got it. Why do you have it though? Let him have it. As in, let him run with it. Tell me what to hit him. And then we'd hit him. Do we hit him now? Because he's taking the line. Go on, then, hit him. Have you got one on? I might have. It's a lemon jack, isn't it? When he opens it. Oh, yeah. oh fuck it. Pissed off. <laughs> he didn't like this talking about his teeth like that. Oh, I wouldn't want that sucker bite me. No, that's right. <laughs> Kelly's 
Thanks for watching this really boring show from Key West in Florida. I expect it might have encouraged you to want to come and have a, such a boring day yourself one day. Do you think we'll do it again, Roy? It's just great to be bored. <laughs> <laughs>